Hello, welcome back to Sturgeon Bay. Uh, this is episode 8, and we are going to be doing a industrial park in this episode, and it should, uh, it should be a pretty good time. Um, this is actually going to be the next two episodes. I've already got the next one recorded now, finally. Uh, the footage you're actually seeing here was recorded um, three months ago-ish, kind of like... Kind of when I uh, uploaded episode 6, more or less, is around the same time that I actually recorded footage for episode 8. Uh, and, and, and I'm getting to, you know, taking care of it now. Um, so hopefully this still holds up. Um, and y you might notice that in at least this episode, and I think the previous one... The series looked a, the series has looked a little different with the graphics. I uh, for some reason did not have my correct settings on. Uh, I correct that starting with episode nine. I um, figured out you know kind of why you know I hadn't had that on, and it, it will be on now after this episode. So that's good. We're gonna go back to the look that we had in like episode like one and two so you know like the very beginning kind of that original vibe which i i think is still just it, it's still great i yeah it, i just still love the way it looks so yeah we're doing uh the beginnings of this industrial park in this episode and um i actually like I, i'm sure i'll talk about this more later but i actually like took kind of inspiration uh on this from like the actual city that I'm basing this off of, which, uh, as I've mentioned, is Green Bay, Wisconsin. And um, the, the way that I've taken inspiration is, like, this is basically the actual location of a fairly large industrial bit within the city, is, like, right uh, by downtown, basically. Um, and, and so I kind of tried to mimic that more or less. This is, I think, a little bit smaller. Um, or maybe it's a little bigger, I don't know. It's it, maybe just the, the way it's laid out is a little different, obviously. Um, but I, I did try to keep, like, there being an industrial park up here, um, as a feature. That I, you know, not only is that, you know, kind of from the real life inspiration, I think it's just, uh, regardless. And, it, and you can see here, I'm, I first actually trying to lay out a lot of, like, these, um, I think they're Ronix's um, rail lines, uh, because one thing, um, obviously, an industrial area should have is a lot of rail service, especially, like, this first building I plopped down here is, like, meant to be an old thing, so it'd be mainly rail service here, um, and, and you'll be able to see, as you go further into the industrial area later on, um, that rail line keeps splitting into different spurs, and you keep getting bits of it that just kind of stop and it's like it makes sense it's a nice little kind of way to extend our rail network in a way that makes sense for this area it also it also looks pretty good in my opinion i'm um, just having that and what i what i did here i actually used some vanilla industrial assets right there in that corner to be kind of like a newer looking thing um, and I, I just combine them into a little complex, and that's always something that I mean to do, is take, like, vanilla assets and kind of combine them into a complex, um, which I know is a great tactic that I've seen a lot of builders do. I just, for some reason, I guess I just have, like, no brain, because I always forget to do that. Um, so, you know, this is the one of the rare occasions that I remember, oh yes, that's a thing I can do. I can make things mesh together and it looks better. Uh, and so I did that and I think this one turns out alright for just kind of winging it. And, you know, just, I wanted to have something a little bit in the back here. So I, I, I do kind of fill this in with like concrete with service painter and just put like a truck or something in there. You know, nothing too fancy. Um, I don't want this to be really an overly detailed in you know, like industrial area, but I want there to be, you know, some level of like showing, hey, there's there's effort into this. There's things that I can do to make it like kind of stand out. Like how I have this this rail line. Like I said, it just keeps splitting off, and there's so many different things that it does. Because you can see there, like yeah, it just it it splits off two different uh, directions, and they're both gonna go towards industries. And here, yeah, I'm putting down this. Um, 
this big grain silo, and that's one thing I knew I wanted to do right away as a big part of the industrial area was I wanted to have these big, uh, these big grain silos because um, I'm, I'm sure I, I know there is some in the uh, city I took inspiration from, but more specifically, what I where I got the inspiration for the grain silos from is okay, okay. So I'm gonna go off on a bit of a tangent here. If anyone remembers. Um, my series, like my failed series of Algawa, which was kind of set off of, I believe it was set off of like a Duluth and Superior, um, like kind of that area, the Twin Ports or whatever. And that's where I actually got the inspiration for the grain silos, is if you look at Superior in particular, um, Duluth too, but I, I think it's more Superior because that's more kind of like the industrial side, uh, you can see how much um, kind of by the by the docks, by the water, all that, by the lake, there is a large amount of uh, just like silos and stuff um, just there to be put on to, you know, so they can load it onto a barge or something like that. And it's just, um, I always thought every time I would pass that when I would go over a bridge into the Luth, I was like, hey, that that's cool. Like this is such a little in industrial town with all the with all the silos and stuff. And it's like, you know, Superior's never been a great place to be, I don't think. But I think it's always been a nice place to look at if you enjoy kind of like industrial things, if that makes any sense. Like so for this purpose, I mean, it would make sense. But I mean, in a general context, I'm not sure. Um, Anyways, yeah, you can see here I end up using, I think that's a, I know it is a van, uh, vanilla asset, but it's from the Industries DLC, The is one of the unique factories, I think that's the Electronics Factory. Um, but they actually, those assets actually look really good. I um, believe a large reason of that is because I am pretty sure that they actually had Avanya uh, help to make those um, assets for the Industries DLC. And the Industries DLC is honestly just one of the best DLCs that is out there, for, uh, out there, out there for City Skylines. It, it's um, it's just a lot of fun. You can see here though, I did struggle with like kind of making parking work all that well, and you know, of course, I forgot to have prop energy off, um, but that's fine. And um, yeah, I mean, so this factory, it, you know, it's fairly good in size. I gave it a little rail connection and. Like, I do the same thing with another little factory, and while the rail connections don't, like, there aren't the most realistic with how they work um, in this setting, I I do like what they add in terms of visual feeling, um, which is what I was mainly going for. And I think I managed to accomplish that pretty well, which is why basically the entirety of the next episode is both expanding this area a little bit, and it's also kind of adding detail to stuff that we're doing in this episode. But uh, we'll get into that when we get into that. So here I decide to kind of curve this road, bring it close to that main road there. And you can see I've kind of basically filled in the extent of um, the area that I gave myself here along the river. Um, and, and I, I struggle to find a something that works because uh, I want to have something, you know, bigger. But then I just decide, oh no, I can have this nice long kind of factory hall but I'm like okay well for this kind of factory hall where would like the office bit be like where would the kind of administration for the factory be that I would expect to be there and so what I do at the end of this here uh, you'll see I take a little office building uh, I believe it's uh, yeah, yeah yeah right here and I orient it so that it is just at the end of that road and it like connects right to the uh, factory so I, I think that's a okay little solution so you can see it's kind of this complex that you know it worked with the space that it had which was not a lot and then also here you can see I'm uh, having fun with service painter because it is a little office bit I wanted to make kind of like a little sort of plaza so I just make some little uh, trails with the um, with the concrete um, and then I put some trees in them and you know there's not a whole lot of trees maybe that you'll be able to see in this episode, but that's one of the things that I definitely go and do more of in the uh, in the next episode. 
Um, and again, this is another spot where parking is a bit difficult to figure out, but I end up working it out to a point where it might not be the best looking, but it does, you know, exist. So the function is served, the function is met. Um, and that's just kind of how I had to do it, because I don't want to have to put a whole giant parking lot across the street for this one, uh, for this one factory. I just, I, I didn't want to do that. Uh, there is the space behind it that I could have used, but uh, similarly, I didn't want to use that space because I wanted that to be reserved for kind of stuff closer to the water. So like we have, there's some rocks back there, and I end up kind of making like a little forest back there. And I do another tiny little thing in the next episode with that, which uh, again, you'll see. I like the way I'm <laughs> saying all this stuff that I do in the next episode. It's like, oh, you're probably wondering, oh boy, the next episode's super good, isn't it? I, I mean, I think it's good, but I, I'm probably overhyping it, you know? Um, that's just kind of how it is. I mean, I, I did uh, what I can do, and I hope that what I do is good. Uh, and so, yeah, back here, I decided to make kind of a little rail yard, almost, back by the factory. And again, it doesn't make sense how it would work in relation to this. I just like having it here. And so, it, it's gonna be here. That's, uh, that's how it works. And so you can see here, I'm just bringing the, uh, the rail line back over there. Um, yeah, the curve was actually fun to work with. I tried to, uh, actually have the curve be, like, basically, um, perfectly intersecting with the rail line there, and it wasn't perfect, but I, th I still think that what I did end up doing looks pretty good, how you're coming out of the curve from, like, that one factory, and you go right across the rail line that's curving, and then, again, making the, uh, the connection here. These these rail lines are a bit tough to work with in terms of making junctions, but when you do it right, these rail lines, they do look really good. And I, I think, yeah, since we're just about done like actually making the like actual area structure here, what I end up doing next is I, I, I go and I kind of fill some stuff in with a little bit of detail to a point where um, like it just, it just adds even though what I end up doing in this episode in terms of detail isn't a lot uh, you, you'll see but but it's actually pretty simple so yeah here we've got this little uh, rail yard that kind of splits off there um, so we have kind of the main area finished and I try to just fill this in with some trees like with my nice fall trees and particularly what I wanted to get in here was the essence of um, like some dry grass and stuff um, which it was kind of hard to control when I used the brush, which I kind of figured out, but what I end up doing, um, you know, there's another thing that I end up doing to solve that, which is, again, in the next episode, as I keep mentioning, uh, and oh yeah, I wanted to put a little office here by the, uh, by the grain silos, and then I bring these, uh, these rail lines back a bit, so I guess I was wrong about being, uh, done, but it, it, it's just working with the rail lines, I feel, which is the one piece of this, um, industrial park that really was fun for me like that was my favorite part because I've always had really a thing for trains um, and so you know not only just you know anytime I work with them in City of Skylines it's fun but when I get to work with them in a way such that there's a lot of depth to the extent that I work with them such as an industrial park to where there's a lot of you know different little spurs and stuff and I have to always like manage the little junctions that is pretty fun for me actually um, and again, right here, this might not make sense, the stuff that I put down next to the, uh, next to the silos, but the more stuff there is, the more it feels like there is stuff, um, which is, I guess, a weird way to put it, but what I'm saying is, having something there that doesn't make a lot of sense is better than not having anything there, which makes it feel empty, uh, at least in my opinion, you know, you could do something drastically wrong, and then it does end up looking pretty bad, but I don't think that this looks absolutely awful um why did i put a crane here did i end up putting a crane here i hope i didn't because that would have been kind of stupid oh yeah but here's like this little crane this is what i end up putting over by that other factory here yeah i'm just about to go do that and it doesn't make a whole lot of sense realistically but uh hey i like it so that's i mean that's what matters i'm the one making this aren't i um it, it, it just adds like it's an it's another thing that just is like Hey, look at this. It's another bell and whistle that I added to the city. Something's going on here. There, there's there's actual action. 
uh, instead of just a little static thing, and, uh, like, it just adds, you know? Um, so I think about here what I'm gonna do, um, instead of just waiting for the footage to show you, which, oh, actually, now I'm getting to it, of course, I end up, uh, taking the surface painter, and I fill in a lot between the little rail lines, what I end up doing, I fill in a lot of that with actually, um, like, gravel, little gravel bits, um, as kind of like dirty areas, like there, there, there's dirt, there's gravel and stuff, and um, I also that's also a thing that I do when rail lines kind of s stop is I have like the gravel continue on where the ballast would have been, um, and I think that's just it, it's simple, but it adds. And what I have to do here is um, I end up actually turning these buildings off, I believe, because I don't want the um, I don't want them to be overloaded with like actual traffic because that can end up being a nightmare. Um, actually, yeah, I don't know if I did turn those ones off. Uh oh. But you know, just turning the buildings off and just having them look, you know, look good without doing anything is better than having them like do too much while still looking good because then it can cause logistical nightmares for anywhere else in the city. Uh, and right here, this is like one of the f um, one of the favorite little pieces that I end up putting in this uh, industrial bit here because you can see kind of on the corner back there there is like a little bit in where like a rail line or something would have gone and so I have that coming in um, and connecting up to the rail line here and that is also where that other rail line kind of stops is uh, right there so you have this um, and I film. I also put in a few little light industrial things here, just to just so there's not as much negative space, I guess. Um, but you know, just so there's like this. Hey, look, this thing is actually being served by rail in a way that makes sense, as compared to other things like the like the factory halls, where it's not. You know, I have like a like a crane next to it, and it doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but it's there. Uh, Whereas this makes sense, like there's a rail line directly leading into it, and I connect these two little buildings here with something there, so it's like it's all, this is all one factory here, right, right again, which I think is something that is kind of more realistic if you have a kind of larger factory complex as opposed to all the little factories that you get with like the vanilla assets. It's just it's just not those just aren't great looking by themselves but but again um you can combine things to make them look a lot better and yeah here now i'm finally doing the thing with the gravel and it's one of it's honestly one of the favorite things that i've been able to do in the city is um like the, this industrial park and this um this idea with the patchy gravel because again it's simple it's very very simple but I feel like it adds a lot just by having the patches within the gravel that are missing. Just the, the patchy gravel here and there. I, I just think that that alone is, um, it, it's a really, it really helps to add the depth there. And you know, this this factory here also, I, I forgot to mention it, but this one's kind of like abandoned. There's not a whole lot going on here and that's also why it's all kind of like a gravel lot. Like there's a little bit of parking, like there's, there's a few things going on, but it's like kind of underused. There's not much happening there. Um, as if it was like one of the first things in that area. But anyways, guys, we are getting towards the end of the episode here. Uh, I hope you did enjoy this one. Um, this was the first bit of this industrial park and we're going to be doing a lot more on it in the next episode we're going to be detailing it and such and uh it, it, this was just a great time this uh industrial park build and i really do hope you enjoy it um and i'm, I'm sorry that i haven't gotten any cinematics uh recently i'll probably do a cinematic video um, sometime after episode 10, I'm not sure how long, but then we can kind of look back on what we did, uh, so far, and, uh, I mean, I think we're doing really good with this. I mean, you can see just from that little overhead view that we had, uh, things are going pretty well. So, yeah, guys, please remember to, um, uh, leave a comment, leave a like, maybe even subscribe, uh, check me out on Twitter, you know, just, uh, drop in, say hi, and I will see you all in the next episode. Take care.